Hi, my name's Wes. My amateur radio call sign is W3KW. On the bench today is a Johnson Viking Adventure, a novice style CW or Morse code only transmitter uh, that was built from 1956 to 1964 and cost about $54 in its day. This is the Johnson Viking Adventure Modulator, which was produced as an option you could add and connect to the Adventurer to allow you to operate both Morse code using the key to the left or the microphone to the right. These are highly sought after and difficult to find. I built an optional cable to connect it to the back of the adventurer. However, they were designed to be plugged right in to the back. A modification to add a grounded power cord eliminates the ability to do that, but it works just fine this way. The schematic for the adventurer modulator and having the modulator on hand makes it easy to make more. And I'm going to turn those two boxes, plus possibly two more, into modulators that others might be able to put to use on their adventure. I'll be making water slide decals that will be mounted to the raw box. And here's a shot of the full uh, schematic, which didn't really show up in the previous artwork. That's the full schematic for the Johnson Adventure, which does need to be modified for use with the modulator. And I've, mod I've uh, modified mine so that you can switch back and forth. If you want more information, you can go to the Boat Anchor Forum on www.qrz.com to learn more by searching for Johnson Viking Adventure Restoration. You can also go to wirelessgirl.com, which has excellent resources for modifying the Johnson Adventure for better performance. If you'd like to become more involved with ham radio, go to www.qrz.com or www.arrl.org to learn more. 73 for now.